Hi sir, a very good afternoon. Thank you for coming aboard College Juniors, this program wherein we share thoughts on education by different eminent personalities. So today we have with us Dr. Shantan Chakravarti who has held 17 plus years in the educational field. Presently sir, is represented in Dr. Sudhir Chandra Engineering College, Kolkata as a HOD for Electrical Department. So sir, thank you first of all for coming here today. So let us have some insightful discussion on the educational sector keeping Calcutta and Bengal in mind. So sir, first of all, I'd like to ask that you have held several key positions at educational institutes throughout your professional career. So according to you, sir, what are the key factors that keep you connected with this sector? First of all, education itself is the most important thing in the process of building a nation. A nation can only prosper when it has got a very knowledgeable and educated society inside this. And quality education is today's need as it is the development of intellectual skills that will equip learners to fulfill the needs of the professionals. It makes people intellectual, independent and builds confidence and self-esteem, which is very important for the development of a country. Being an educator, I guide the youngsters to the path of nation building. That's my passion. That's, I am, that's why I am in this field for such a long time. Thank you, sir. So moving on, sir. So the education system, particularly in India and as well as other foreign countries are structured very differently. So in your experience, what can be an inbound student gain from studying here at Dr. Shudit Chandra College? It's a very good question. Actually, Indian education system still focuses somewhat more on theory rather than practical. Whereas in foreign countries, they focus more on practical based learnings and they allow creativity in education. In India, education is kind of a formality still today, part of the routine, somehow securing a good job and maintaining a social status, its main motive right now. Whereas uh, in foreign countries, education is taken as a learning process. The foreign education curriculum contains everything starting from arts to sports. The foreign education curriculum, uh, whereas in Indian system, only it only emphasizes studies. There is hardly any scope of extracurricular activities in our education system. However, it's better late than never. The Technical Council has rightly addressed this issue and started implementing the new ideas in their latest curriculum. Should take or Dr. Shudhi Chandrasri of Technology and Sports Complex under the ages of JIS group has taken certain remarkable initiatives to bridge the gap between the education system between here and abroad so that after getting the BTEC degree here, students not only secure good employment but also used to prosper in the field of higher studies, research and development in the premier institutions in India and abroad. Students get ample opportunity to prosper in sports like football, cricket, badminton, air rifle, table tennis, carom, etc. using our indoor and outdoor stadium. A number of technical and cultural events are conducted with students' active participation throughout the year. So we actually deal with 360 degree education and which is the most scientific way of teaching learning in the country. A very insightful answer, sir. I'm sure our students will definitely benefit out of this. So, sir, the next question that comes to my mind, 
is how does the curriculum of Dr. Sudhir Chokra Shur College ensure that the best industry practices are carried out? So if you could give some examples, sir. Here we follow the curriculum of Maulana Abul Kalam Azad University of Technology on Macau as per the guidelines of AICT. But we do not restrict our education policy to any boundaries for the interest of our beloved students. We provide beyond the curriculum teach training or BCT for all students starting from the first year to the final year. The curriculum is prepared with the present industry requirements and trained with highly skilled professionals from various reputed industries. The students of electrical engineering get the opportunity to learn cutting edge technologies such as Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, machine learning, automation, robotics, electric vehicles, and modern technologies in the domain of renewable energies. They got the opportunity to have thorough training in college as well as in the frontline industry such as WB, PDCL, WB, SEDCL, and TCL, MSME tool room, Indian Railways, and so many other private industries through, uh, through regular visits, internship programs, summer trainings, etc. Students participate in various technical competitions and quiz events and win prizes there. They conduct project and model competitions. They participate present, uh, they partic uh, the pre participants present outstanding innovative ideas there. They publish research articles in various re reputed national and international journals and conferences proceedings. The grooming process remains always on with regular classes to develop soft skills and analytical abilities to crack the placement drives conducted inside and outside the campus as well as several entrance exams and competitive exams. We believe in providing 360 degree education a number of sports, cultural and awareness programs are conducted throughout the year to develop certain human values. Students participate wholeheartedly to exhibit their skills. Students enjoy learning these socializing activities. They learn to contribute to society with blood donations, free health checkup, free plantation, helping the needy people in the neighborhood by donating clothes, mosquito nets, blankets, cleaning the area, teaching the financially backward students, etc. Understood, sir. So I'm sure this college has done a lot of innumerable things to help our students. And that is how the best practices are thereby maintained. So, sir, coming on to my next line of thought. So, as a teacher in today's educational world, what would you think your roles and responsibilities are to the institution as are the same for the students as well? If you could answer the same, sir. Being the HOD, I look after my department of electrical engineering. We, as a team, take care of each of our students progress through mentoring systems. I personally maintain liaison with various industries through certain collaborative activities at the department level as well as in the institutional level. We have got MOUs with various private and PSU industries. I also booster the research and development activities inside the department. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your answer. So coming to a very lag end of this discussion, sir. So I'd like to finally conclude this discussion with some views from your side 
or suggestions that you may which you would like to give to our present youth and the aspiring students who are willing to come forward to this college today's youth are much smarter than as we think or as we used to be in our days but still my one and only advice is never to lose hope so what i have experienced in my such long career that success comes at different time for different individuals so please don't lose patience focus on your studies honestly like a devotee enjoy your student life by participating in sports and cultural activities don't remain idle and always get engaged in your mobile phones use them for your betterment for your own interest try to be a team man together you can conquer many battles you can overcome many obstacles and stick to the always stick to the track you will surely succeed in your life and in this process please don't forget to become a good human being which the society needs the most this much i can address thank you sir thanks a lot for your time thanks a lot for your invaluable insights i am sure our students will greatly benefit from this discussion thank you sir thanks sir it's my pleasure thank you sir